Hello everyone. In this video, we will describe the embedded design flow for Microchip's Smart Fusion 2 SoC FPGA with its ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller. Microchip's Smart Fusion 2 SoC FPGAs integrate our low density field programmable gate array technology with a 32 bit ARM Cortex M3 microcontroller subsystem, or MSS. These devices come with 5 to 150 logic elements, up to 512 megabytes of non volatile memory up to 80 kilobytes of ESRAM, and a series of hard peripherals such as SPI, I2C, and GPIOs. The MSS block can also connect to the FPGA fabric via synchronized fabric interface controllers, or FIC for short, that can be configured as AHB Lite or APB3 in both master and slave directions. Smart Fusion 2 SoC FPGAs are ideal for general purpose applications such as I.O. expansion or conversion, bridging, video image processing, system management, and secure connectivity. The embedded design flow consists of two development paths, standard FPGA design flow and software development flow. The flow chart on this slide shows the basic steps of both flows and the interaction between them. A typical design usually starts by FPGA designer creating a project in Libro SOC design suite using design entry tools such as System Builder or MSS Configurator. Once this first step is completed, the tool will generate a memory address map of the design along with firmware drivers for the utilized peripherals and other files required to build in software development tools. Software development flow uses these files to develop a software application for Cortex-M3 microcontroller while the FPGA development flow continues in parallel. Prior to generating a programming bitstream, though not required, these two flows can converge to generate a complete programming file that contains FPGA design and the binary or hexadecimal files required to be stored in the ENVM for Cortex-M3 application. Now we are going to provide a short demo on the embedded design flow we just described. As you can see in this Libero project, I have pre-built a system builder block for my design. I'm going to go ahead and generate that. Then I'm going to go straight to the bottom of the design flow where the tools are labeled handoff design for firmware development. Use configure firmware cores to make sure all my cores are up to date. Once it's good, I'm going to go ahead and launch export firmware, select the location, the software ID I'll use, and make sure the export hardware configuration and firmware drivers are checked. Click OK. And now my firmwares are generated. Now the FPGA design flow can continue in parallel. Let's go to Soft Console IDE for software development flow. You need to import the new firmware folder exported by Libro into your Soft Console project. Go to File, Import, File System. For From Directory Entry, browse to the firmware folder generated by Libro. Once there, select All, make sure all the boxes are checked. For the Into folder, you need to select the Soft Console project. Once selected, Finish. Now all the files are imported in the Soft Console project. Let's go ahead and start a build. The build is now completed with no errors and no warnings. Now we should see a hex file in the release folder of our Soft Console project. Let's go back to LibreOSUC now to incorporate this hex file into our bitstream files. Here we are going to incorporate the Cortex M3 executable into our bitstream. Let's double click on the update EMVM memory content step. Select the M3 application firmware that we had generated before in the system builder. Now we have the file. Let's select the content from the file and browse to the hex file generated by Soft Console. Once we select the file, we click OK. Another OK. And now the EMVM memory contents are updated with the hex file. Now we can go ahead and start the generate bitstream or export bitstream step to create the programming file of our choice. For more information on the development tools and Smart Fusion 2 MSS block, please refer to the following locations on our website.